I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler recently discovered new brain science, and today we're going to talk about how this applies to positive social interaction. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. I made a new brain science connection in December 2019 about transferring unhealthy thinking to healthy thinking. I call this Know Who You Are Moment by Moment. Today, we're going to apply this to positive social interaction. This new brain science is that you can only think out of one region of your brain at a time. So know the brain region you're thinking from, and that's who you are moment by moment. How does this apply to positive social interaction? Know your brain region during interaction with people. You don't want to be in your amygdala anger center. And you don't want to be in your self-centered thinking region. You don't want self-important singular thinking. You want to be in your positive relationship center or creative region or even your accumbens pleasure center. Well, that makes sense. You don't want to talk to someone when you're angry or thinking about yourself. It's always about the other person. How do you stay out of the anger center and self-thinking center? It's the new brain science. Know your brain region and get out of the anger center in a few seconds. One way, the one way I like, is by feeling the anger for six to eight seconds. Just feel it. Feel your, your fists clenched and your face crunched down. Let it peak. And then release. Six to eight seconds. It's a built-in calming response that we have. Stop singular self-centered thinking by being kind to yourself or helping others. What does positive social interaction mean? Positive social interaction means, very simple, both individuals at the end of the connection have a positive feeling. Both individuals have a pleasure center, a cumbens experience. There are four outcomes from a typical interaction between two people. The first is a passive response. Someone tells you about an exciting event. You may say, oh, that's nice, with a shrug of your shoulders and no eye contact. This is not too negative, but it's a lost opportunity for a positive feeling. Another response is negative. That's with a one-up or a put-down response, such as, Oh, you should hear what I did today. Or, that sounds stupid. You're better than that. This gives no consideration about the other person's feelings. One person is pleased and the other is angry. A destructive response at home or at work is much too common. And it's something like, While you were having a great time, I was working. Or, where'd you get that money? The person saying this is angry, probably from being yelled at by the boss. And now the person hearing this destructive comment has gone from the accumbens pleasure center, enjoying talking about the experience, sinking in the amygdala anger center. So you've gone from the pleasure center to the anger center uh, from this conversation. Both people are angry. This is not a positive interaction. These are three negative interactions. What's a positive interaction? Well, somebody tells you about an exciting event. Engage in the conversation with positive words and comments. Things like, that sounds exciting. What was the good part? That must have felt great. Where do you and we need to use positive social interaction? Well, let's start at home with the family. No singular thinking in the family. This stops all those family fights. Among friends, no criticism, no judgment, and no blame. All these are from singular self-centered thinking. It's really helpful to have two or three close relationships in our lives. It's healthy. It's not only healthy, but will live longer. You can be yourself without judgment, blame, or criticism among close relationships. You care about each other. You're kind to each other. You only give. Never take anything from the other person. 
What about in public or at work? Is it positive social communication helpful? Oh, it's phenomenal. It's very helpful. And it's easy to do and results in positive outcomes. For example, positive social interaction at a store or supermarket means talking with people in a positive way. This will eliminate stress for both of you. You'll have a pleasant experience, and most likely, you'll get a little surprise deal. At work, same thing. Use positive social communication. It'll result in a pleasant work experience and increase productivity as well as increased creativity and innovation. My friend told me that her daughter was frightened in social media and another friend's son was sent such a threatening text that he had nightmares. What is cyberbullying and what is the solution? I define cyberbullying as any single word, any single word or comment against another person while texting or using social media. Relentless and continuous negative words and comments have a disastrous health outcome by causing stress, leading to fear, anger, and actual pain from depression. Students in high in grade schools, high schools, colleges can have such unrelenting bullying they turn to a catastrophic outcome. Cyberbullying is out of control. You're right. Cyberbullying is out of control and hurting too many people. What's the solution? The solution is easy. It's seven words that will change the world. Know who you are moment by moment. This means know that you're in the singulate, self-centered brain region and get out, especially before texting or using social media. Get out of this brain region. Learn and use positive social interaction. Both individuals feel better after the connection. How do you get out of this self-centered singulate brain region? Two ways. First, self-destructive conversation or self-pity talk, complaining and whining about your situation. Nobody wants to hear this. Use self-compassion. The second thought is be kind to yourself. Now, there's other comments from the singulate. Jealousy, resentment, judgment, retaliation. These are all singular thinking, comments, and, and, and reactions, and feelings. And they're taking feelings. You're taking from other people. And the way to get out is to give. Give your energy. Give your help. Give answers. How about this one? Give a question. It's a how or what kind of question, not a who or why question. How did you do that? How did you get started? Eliminate singular self-centered thinking when texting and using social media. You'll feel better, and others will too. You may save a life. Positive social interaction means that both people feel better after the connection. Are there bad habits that people don't even realize are negative social interaction? Uh, yes, there are. These these are from singular self-centered thinking. They've been passed down generation to generation and they almost accepted as normal behavior. And, and, and people do them so much they don't even realize uh, the, the, what they're doing. For example, saying a positive response after uh, followed by a negative response, response. Say a, a nice positive response and then, and, and then throw in a negative response. For example, that must have been enjoyable. How much did it cost? Those are beautiful flowers, but you need to put them in a different location. Well, that looks great, but you need to change it. <laughs> the, the other common negative response is saying something you think is helpful, but it's negative, leaving the other person really feeling angry. For example, good night. Don't play video games all night. Enjoy the party. Don't spend too much money. Good morning. It's going to be a great day. You need to make sure you're not late. I mean, these, these are day-to-day -day comments, and, and I don't think people realize they're even saying them. But they really do 
uh, make the other person upset and angry with that second uh, comment. So these comments are all singular thinking, all self-centered thinking. They leave the other person angry. They're a habit that really should be eliminated. Singular thinking, acknowledge the negative thought, get the benefit, and get out. Do you have any closing comments? Positive social interaction means that both individuals feel better after the connection. Eliminate cyberbullying by transferring out of the singular self-centered brain region fast. Acknowledge the event, obtain the benefit, and get out. Learn and use positive social interaction every day in all situations. It feels good, and others feel good, too. Coming soon, Dr. Gary Epler leads a class series about the new brain science, customized to your individual goals and challenges, available through Patreon. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler. Closing today's segment, next time we'll talk about sleep. Epler and Dr. Gary Epler. Closing today's segment.